Belgium and the Netherlands are set to sign a landmark agreement to acquire the NASAM's air defense system, marking a significant milestone in Europe's ongoing effort to strengthen its integrated missile defense network. The deal, announced by Belgian Defense Minister Theo Franken on October 15, 2025, underscores a growing realization across Europe the continent must take collective responsibility for its air security amid the evolving threat of drones, cruise missiles, and long-range precision strikes. The NASAMS, National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, has become one of the most sought-after air defense systems in the Western world. Originally developed by Norway's Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace in partnership with Raytheon, the system offers a flexible, networked architecture capable of intercepting a wide range of aerial threats. It combines radar and command modules linked by data networks to multiple launchers, allowing for rapid, coordinated responses across large territories. For small and mid-sized NATO members like Belgium and the Netherlands, NASAMS provides a cost-effective yet potent way to plug critical gaps in national air defense. The timing of the deal is not coincidental. Across Europe, air defense has re-emerged as a strategic priority after decades of neglect. The proliferation of drones and cruise missiles during the Russia-Ukraine war has shown how even small, inexpensive UAVs can paralyze civilian infrastructure and military bases if left unchallenged. For nations that once considered air defense a Cold War relic, the past three years have delivered a sobering lesson. Modern warfare begins and ends in the skies. Belgium's decision follows a series of incidents involving unidentified drones over military facilities earlier this year, highlighting vulnerabilities in national airspace protection. The Netherlands, already operating Patriot systems at the higher end of the defense spectrum, sees NASAMS as a complementary mid-tier layer bridging the gap between short-range anti-drone systems and high-altitude interceptors. Together, both countries aim to build a unified air defense umbrella capable of detecting and neutralizing threats before they reach critical targets. NASAMS has proven itself in multiple operational theaters. It currently protects Washington, D.C., several key NATO bases in Europe, and has shown its combat value in Ukraine, where it has intercepted Russian cruise missiles with high success rates. Its modular architecture allows integration with a wide variety of sensors, radars, and missile types, giving operators flexibility to adapt the system to their own defense ecosystems. For Belgium and the Netherlands, this adaptability means seamless integration with NATO's command and control infrastructure and with the emerging European Sky Shield Initiative, an ambitious plan to create a continent-wide air defense network. The inclusion of NASAMS in Western Europe's defense structure also highlights the rising influence of Nordic industry in shaping Europe's future arsenal. Norway's Kongsberg, long known for precision missile systems, has become a central player in Europe's rearmament efforts. The company's technology bridges the traditional divide between U.S. and European systems. NASAMS uses American AIM-120 AIM RAM missiles, but Norwegian command software and architecture. This dual heritage symbolizes Europe's pragmatic approach, building autonomy without severing transatlantic ties. From an industrial standpoint, the Belgium-Netherlands purchase extends the geographical footprint of the Nordic defense industry. Maintenance and component production will likely be shared between facilities in Norway and partner countries, creating a distributed logistics network resilient against disruptions. As European states continue to boost their defense budgets, with NATO members targeting 3 to 5 percent of GDP by 2030, such partnerships are redefining the continent's defense supply chain. Instead of isolated national projects, Europe is slowly assembling an interoperable industrial ecosystem anchored by shared systems like NASAMS. However, the road toward an integrated European air defense network is far from smooth. The first challenge lies in standardization, 
Each NATO country has its own radar, communication, and identification systems, and integrating them into a seamless cross-border defense grid is a monumental task. Even minor discrepancies in data formatting or encryption can cause delays in missile launches or misidentification of friendly aircraft. The European SkyShield initiative aims to harmonize these systems, but progress has been uneven as nations balance sovereignty with collective defense. A second challenge involves supply chains and production capacity. The war in Ukraine has stretched Western defense manufacturers thin. The demand for interceptors, radar components, and communication units far exceeds available output. Kongsberg has already announced plans to expand its production lines, but scaling up a high-tech missile system cannot happen overnight. Every radar array and launcher requires months of precision assembly and calibration. As more countries, from the Baltics to Central Europe, express interest in NASAMs, bottlenecks are almost inevitable. There are also political and legal complexities. Defense exports within the European Union still face layers of approval procedures, particularly when American components are involved. While NASAMS is a Norwegian system, its reliance on US-made missiles subjects it to Washington's export regulations. This dependency raises questions about Europe's strategic autonomy. Can a defense network truly be European if it relies on US export permissions to function? For now, the consensus seems to be pragmatic cooperation rather than complete independence. Despite these challenges, the long-term trajectory is clear. The Belgium-Netherlands NASAMS project fits neatly into the broader shift toward layered, multinational air defense. Within a few years, it is expected that Belgium's radar and command centers will be linked to Dutch and German systems through NATO's integrated air and missile defense network. Real-time sensor fusion will allow operators in one country to detect and, if necessary, engage threats in another's airspace. An unprecedented level of cooperation in peacetime Europe. The benefits extend beyond defense. Shared procurement and maintenance reduce costs, promote standardization, and create political interdependence that strengthens NATO cohesion. As European economies navigate fiscal pressures, pooling resources for shared security becomes both efficient and politically sustainable. Moreover, for smaller states like Belgium and the Netherlands, collective defense offers a way to remain relevant within NATO without competing head-to-head -head with larger military powers. Looking ahead, the NASAMS deal could serve as a template for future European collaborations. Poland and Romania have already deployed the system. Finland and Lithuania are considering expanding their existing networks. If these efforts align under the Sky Shield framework, Europe could, within a decade, field a continent-wide missile defense web rivaling the sophistication of the U.S. homeland system. For Norway and its Nordic partners, this represents not only economic opportunity, but a strategic leap, positioning the North as the industrial heart of Europe's defense revival. The symbolism of this deal extends beyond technology. It demonstrates Europe's determination to move from reactive aid to proactive defense. Instead of waiting for crises, countries are investing in deterrence creating a shield-first strategy that blends industrial policy with military necessity. In doing so, Europe acknowledges a hard truth. Security cannot be outsourced indefinitely, even to allies as close as the United States. In many ways, the NASAMS deal is the quiet beginning of a new phase in European defense integration. It reflects the same spirit that drove the creation of NATO decades ago collective strength through shared responsibility, but updated for the realities of the 21st century. The skies over Europe are more crowded, more contested, and more dangerous than ever before. With NASAMS, Belgium and the Netherlands are not just buying missiles. They are buying time, coordination, and confidence in a world where seconds can mean survival.